See, let me tell you something. I don't care how much money that you make. I really don't. Because if you're making it the wrong way, you're a low life. Okay, listen. I know people in Brooklyn. I'll give you an example. I actually know these people because I grew up with them who sell drugs. Okay, I know people in Brooklyn who sell drugs. And um, loan sharks, um, name it, you know, they do it. Okay? And they make a lot of money. But I don't consider these to be good people. Yes, I'm not proud of them. I'm not. I don't go to them and pat them on the back and say you're a benefit to society. Okay, so people continuously praise Lou that he makes money on YouTube. They're like he made, you know. And I say it too. But the difference is, I'm not praising him. You're praising him. I'm actually ashamed. Okay, that you actually think it's good that this guy is making money. Do you know how much money Lou has cost people? with clove do you know how many apes contacted me literally in tears that they lost all their amc money because of lou that he said clove was going to 500 i mean seriously this guy says that we're going to squeeze uh, i think a he said that amc was going to squeeze already probably i don't know how many times would you say at least 20 times if not more okay I mean, I, I don't want to keep repeating it. Elon Musk uh, selling shares, AMC is going to squeeze. Evergrande, uh, you know, the full thing is going to cause the AMC squeeze. Uh, interest rates, uh, you know, inflation is going to cause the AMC squeeze. The stock market crash is going to cause the AMC squeeze. March 3rd, we're going to squeeze. So that's five right there, right? Let's, let's think. Let's think of some more. Um... AMC is going to go down to 100, uh, excuse me, AMC is going to go down to 30, this was the secret connection, immediately shoot up to 100, it's going to start to manage the event, it's going to start to squeeze, that's six times right there, um, let's, let's think, the war, Russia uh, you, with Ukraine is going to start to squeeze, <laughs> it's like, I could go on and on and on, if we don't squeeze in March, we're not going to squeeze at all, okay, then, then he went into back in the old days. Forget about how many times he said we were going to squeeze. Forget about it. The true price of AMC in the dark pools, 4000 The true price is 5000 The true price is 10000 I mean, it, it, it will take, the video will take too long. Lou has been wrong about everything. The only thing that Lou has been right about is he found a way to scheme. He found a way to scam, you know, apes to watch his videos and make himself a, a nice amount of money we paid for his his crime he robbed seventy three thousand dollars from senior citizens and we paid back his restitution of seventy three thousand dollars that's it now is it true they're saying that lou was actually living in the dominican republic because from my understanding he was only going there for medical treatment one of my eight brothers sent me um, a letter which by the way it seems that tina is a public defender uh, this is not someone he has on retainer. <laughs> there is a public defender, it seems so far. You know, that, that's just the evidence that I've been getting. I can't, listen, it's alleged, I can't confirm it. But based on everything that I've been seeing, she seems like she's a public defender. Because let's just say the ape father has, I have experience. And when you're dealing with an attorney that you're paying high retainers to, you could tell. You could tell the difference between, it's like, you ever hear the old expression, you get for what you pay for. And when, you, and when you're paying nothing, you pretty much should expect nothing. But when you're paying top dollars, uh, uh, I'll give you a for instance. One of my buddies got into a little legal trouble in Brooklyn. He paid his attorney $100,000. That's what I was like, I can't get into that too much. Let's just say that this attorney was on his balls like friggin' flies on honey, okay? Like, this guy could tell the he could call the attorney. I need to meet you in five minutes. The guy'd be there in three minutes. He'd be like, you you know the movie, uh, what's that movie? Pulp Fiction with the with, with the guy's the wolf. Remember? He said, uh, he said it's forty five minutes away. I'll be there in ten minutes. All right, with his Acura, and he bla and he blasted off. Okay, so when you're paying an attorney big money, the way Lou claims, like he's Donald J Trump, our former president. Okay. I, I would have already been served. I would have been sued. I would be in court right now. My minivan would be gone. My house would probably be, uh, you know, a lean on it. Listen, Lou is dealing with a public defender. 
That's it. Now, you always say, well, why? If Lou is making money on YouTube, isn't it? See, I just got a message from this guy. He's like uh, Antonio, I think, Miranda, whatever his name is. He says, it doesn't make any sense. How is Lou homeless? I don't know how many times I have to repeat this. It's estimated that Lou made $200,000. According to YouTube Star, there's his website. I, I think, or stat, I don't know what it is. YouTube stat or YouTube star, whatever it is. Lou made approximately $200,000 on YouTube. Okay. Now, $80,000 is gone in taxes. $73,000 he had to pay back in restitution. Let's assume Lou pays his mom some kind of money in rent because rent, he was living with his mother. Now, he's under a three-year supervision. That's why I don't think he's, he's living in the Dominican Republic. He's got to report back to New York because he's still, he's still under a three-year supervision. So all of these rumors that Lou has a residence in the Dominican Republic is, is lies. He has to return to New York. He's under a three-year supervision. So let's assume Lou is paying his mother a thousand a month. He's buying food. He's doing the right thing. You, how much of that $200,000 is left? How much is left? Okay, and even though he's making more money, more money, more problems, you know, more taxes he has to pay. You know what I mean? And, and another thing is I think Lou might be looking to buy a house in Florida. What I think he's doing, this is just my guess, is he's saving up all of his money to buy a residence in Florida. And like I said, I think it's a sin. See, right now he doesn't have the residence in Florida. Okay, he's he's looking for another six good months from the apes where he'll get his 80,000 views a day, and then he'll get his residence in Florida. Look, the bottom line is this. Any way you want to twist this, I already have all the things that Lou doesn't have. I have a house. I have a family. I have a tremendous amount of more money than Lou. <laughs> okay? I do YouTube because I want to become famous. You, I'm not expecting to make big money on YouTube. I just want to become known. And if I am known, you're known. I would do everything in my power to fight for the apes, to fight corruption, and to make sure that I can hold up V for victory for all of us. I only have the good attention for the ape family. You know, I donated $10,000 to the apes. Lou's donated nothing. With all the money he makes, why not throw the apes at least something, right? Throw them a, a thousand, two thousand. I mean, you guys are fools. Everybody who likes this guy is an idiot. You're making a criminal, a con man, a richer man who steals from senior citizens, and he's stealing basically from you. Because, in my opinion, it's it's a form of theft. Because when a person is lying to make money, like I'll give you an example. If I come to you and I say, "Listen, here's the situation. You know, I got I got children uh, in another state. They're starving. I need to go see them. Please, can you please give me ten dollars so I can put? I gotta put gas in my car. That is a form of stealing because you're lying to make money. Lou lies to make money. Everything he says on YouTube is a lie. Nothing is true. He's never proven it, okay? He's never proven anything he said. He says he has secret connections. Tell me their names. Tell me the companies they work for. Provide information. He says he has Wall Street experience. When did you work in Wall Street? What company did you work for? Who was your supervisor? What's the contact number? I want confirmation. He says that he owns two Teslas. Where are they? And out of space next to, you know, Elon Musk's uh, Tesla Roadster that he put in space. Where's the two Teslas, Lou, that you're always on the subway? He said that in the Dominican Republic, he owns a Porsche. He can't sit in it. He can't drive around the block. Everything the guy says is a lie. Every prediction he made is wrong. The only thing he's doing right is that he's basically convincing all of you jackasses and all of you fools to continue to watch him. And he's making money. Okay, which is getting him out of legal trouble and basically you're helping him better his life while all of us are suffering. I'm down over $150,000 because I listened to Lou. <laughs> I'm not blaming Lou. I made my own decision. I'm a big boy. But I'm down, the, just the facts are the facts. I'm down over 150000 I know many apes. I know the Rain Man of Wall Street lost a fortune on Clove. I know American Dream lost a fortune on Clove. A lot of people spoke, spoke to me, and they lost a fortune on Clove. Lou is just losing everybody money and making money for himself. Doesn't sound like a fair deal to me.